Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, about 30 minutes ago, we got a new producer's letter on the official Global Dokkan Twitter page. And in this video, as always, we're going to go through it together and find out exactly what's going on. So, yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the first page here, which says... Hello, this is the operation team of the international version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Are you enjoying the Exploding Gratitude Dokkan Thank You Celebration and the Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover special campaign? In this producer's letter, you will get new info about the upcoming campaign. Are you ready? Page 2. Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan Campaign, coming soon. Part 1 of the... Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan campaign will start on November 27th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is uh, basically 8 p.m. Eastern. And we have a new Dokkan Festival, which is going to be for the LR Galic Gun Trunks and Vegeta. So it says a Dokkan Festival that features new SSR Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Trunks Future, who can be Dokkan Awakened into an LR will become available in part one. As you can see, there's also the Goku Black, which is the banner unit, the side unit, and the leader skill of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Trunks Future can strengthen allies belonging to the Bond of Parent and Child or Future Saga category. Their powerful leader skill allows this already versatile duel, duo to strengthen a large number of characters so all the more reason to recruit them. So yeah, uh, basically as expected, as we saw in the in-game news this morning, LR, Trunks, and Vegeta is going to be the next summonable unit, the next banner coming to Global. And uh, even though, you know, it's been a while since they came out on JP, they are still legitimately uh, one of, if not, you know, in the eyes of some people, the best unit in the game right now. So definitely a uh, pretty exciting release for a lot of people. And page 3 says, Amazing login bonuses and missions. Get 3 starry, uh, starry Winter Night tons of thanks tickets on the first login and another 18 by clearing missions for a total of 21 summon tickets. So of course these tickets can be used on the Trunks and Vegeta banner. So essentially, um, everybody, even the free-to-play players, can get up to 21 summons for free, which is amazing. Um, that's, I mean, basically two multis. I think it's actually going to be three multis because it's going to be seven ticket multis. So yeah, kind of three free multis for everyone, which is actually quite generous, if I'm being honest. And uh, yeah, Starry Winter Night, tons of thanks tickets can be used in the Starry Winter Night Dokkan Festival, tons of thanks ticket, which is scheduled to start from uh, December 4th. And characters from the 7th... Oh, hold on. I think I might have made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. So, it's not the Trunks and Vegeta banner, technically. It's going to be the Thank You banner, which is going to feature Trunks and Vegeta, but also feature the 7th Anniversary LRs and a bunch of other Dokkan Fest units. Uh, we get this every single year, so, you know, it's going to be a banner with Trunks and Vegeta, but not the main Trunks and Vegeta banner. That's my bad. Hopefully, uh, there's no misunderstandings there. Okay, so, yeah, characters from the 7th anniversary celebration will show up in this summon. Plus, during the campaign, you will also be able to get up to 62 Dragonstones, 16 Elder Kai's dozing, or Sleepy Kai's, and other awesome items through the login bonus and the missions. It's a chance you don't want to miss. So that basically does it for the producer's letter, guys. It says, and that's all for this producer's letter. We'll bring even more events this holiday season. Among those, a brand new content. A, a brand new content will come out in mid-December. <laughs> um, okay. We will keep doing our best to meet your expectations, so please continue to enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, so mid-December, this brand new content, this is the thing that's gotten people talking because everything else we already knew about. We were expecting Trunks and Vegeta, we were expecting the Thank You 
tickets. We were expecting some, you know, free-to-play Dragonstones and all that stuff. But what is this new, brand new content they're talking about? It could be just a new event. For example, uh, we did do the voting for LR God Koo and the LR Recent Beerus, right? So maybe whichever one won that vote, uh, which I'm assuming is LR God Koo, but we'll see. One of those will be getting their Extremes Awakenings mid-December, and that's going to be the brand new content they're talking about. That's a possibility. Um, should be global first, by the way, uh, although JP will probably get it like, I mean, like two weeks later at most, right? But it could also be something a little bit more exciting, you know, a little bit more explosive. For example, the next part of the Dragon Ball uh superhero or sorry dragon ball super superhero movie celebration and bring along with it finally beast gohan and possibly orange piccolo i think beast gohan is the one that people are most looking forward to orange piccolo would be awesome too but more importantly beast gohan right so i'm not gonna say that's what it is i'm not gonna say that's what they're talking about i really don't know what they're talking about but um all I'm saying is there's a range of possibilities, right? So some people are saying Beast Gohan for sure confirmed, not confirmed, but possible, but possible. So we'll see about that. And uh, before we go, here is a quick breakdown of the news we got this morning because I didn't make a video for it. And in case you guys missed it in game, uh, we did get the announcement for the Dokkan event. We got the announcement of the uh, renewal of um, King Vegeta's strike event. Wait, hold on. Was this not already on global? I thought this was already on global. Maybe not. Anyways, uh, we also have a new stage of infinite Dragon Ball history and also a new boss rush as well. And also, this is from, I think, a couple days ago. If you guys modded on World Tournament, then you got banned. So there's the usual account suspension uh, notice as well so um yeah guys that's pretty much the producer's letter nothing that we didn't really like know about you know like it essentially just talked about very common knowledge things but maybe if you haven't been keeping up with dokkan super closely recently then you might not know this but yeah lr trunks and vegeta thank you tickets and uh you know this brand new content which is gonna be interesting we'll see what it is mid-december guys in about two or three weeks we should see exactly what they're talking about here and uh before we go one last thing i just want to quickly break down this lr trunks Majita for anybody that doesn't know what they do uh starting with the leader skill Bond of Parent and Child or Future Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or, or sorry, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Battle of Fate category. Uh, Super Attack, 12 Key, raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Colossal Damage, and 18 Key raises Attack and Defense and causes Mega Colossal Damage, and of course this is infinitely stacking. Passive is activates the entrance animation once only, key plus 2, defense plus 70%, and guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn when there is another bond of parent and child category ally attacking in the same turn. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 140%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 5, defense plus 15% up to 75%, and chance of performing a critical hit up to plus 7% up to uh, 35% with each attack received. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and guards all attacks as the first attacker in a turn. This is, you know, a big part of the reason why they're so amazing. They're very, very good defensively. Um, definitely one of the better tanks in the game and of course able to deal um, a really good amount of damage so just a all-around amazing unit like i said you know still one of the best units in the game regardless of uh you know how many good units have come out since then since june 30th 2022 they're still one of the top units in the game no question and uh active skill 
massively raises the attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and all attacks become critical, critical hits. For one turn, raises allies' defense by 20% for one turn, and uh, can be activated starting from the third turn when all allies attacking in the same turn are future Saga characters, or when HP is 50% or less starting from the fifth turn from start of battle once only. And links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Future Saga, Time Travelers, Joint Forces, Vegeta's Family, Bond of Master and uh, Disciple, Battle of Fate, and Bond of Parent and Child. So there you have it. Those are the details for the LR Gallic Gun, Trunks, and Vegeta. And uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for this release, if you guys are planning to summon for them. And uh, also, what do you think this brand new content is? Give me your best guesses. Give me your um, predictions. And uh, we'll see who's right by the time mid-December rolls around. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.